Okay, for our next topic, we're going to talk about regular expressions. And, uh, well, it should be only three lines there. Expressions. And regular expressions are a really important topic. They generalize across a lot of different fields in computer science and development. And you'll see it more in theory classes and so forth. Uh, and so we won't go into the theory of regular expressions so much as in how to use regular expressions in this class. Uh, really what we're talking about when we talk about regular expressions is that we're talking about using pattern matching. Specifically, we're using pattern matching uh, on strings. Uh, we are going to be looking for specific patterns in our strings and you might say, well, why do we need to do that? Well, if we don't have pattern matching, then really our alternative is a string comparison. And so if you're thinking about a lot of data entry, which in effect using a web application is using a web browser to let people enter data or view data, there are a lot of ways that people can do it. So just think, for example, of telephone numbers, okay? Just with telephone numbers, how are the different ways that we can easily conceive of people doing it? One is with this pattern where they put the parentheses and the, the dash and so forth. Other people with that same number are going to write it like this, if I can write an eight. Uh, other people are going to put dots in there and still other people may just not bother to put any separators in at all. And all th four of these different entries are valid ways to express a, a telephone number. You could do other numbers like uh, credit cards as an example. You, do you put spaces? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or do you eliminate the spaces between them? Do you put a dash in there? Do you, do you type them into separate fields, field one, two, three, and, and four? Th these are just two examples that you could easily conceive of a person in a web application development framework entering data like this. And I don't know if you've ever used a web page that constrains how you do that, uh, like a date. It always drives me crazy. Do I have to write um, month, day, year? Or is it developed in Europe and so it's day, month, year? Is the year two dates or, or two digits or four digits? Is it uh, January 1st, 2014? Or is it uh, um, November 2nd, 2014? Are, are both of these legal? This one is ambiguous because we don't know if it's, it's January or if it's uh, February, depending upon which one is first and second. Do we allow text? Do we, do we get January 1, 2014? Is that allowed for our date? Uh, do we make them spell out the full month name? And so forth. There are all kinds of data that people are going to enter and the way that people enter them and the way computers want to process them are not necessarily the same. And, and so having a way to pattern match and say, yes, I see something that looks like this or looks like this. And so I'm going to uh, treat it as a telephone number or a date, a credit card, a street address. I could give all kinds of examples that people use to enter their information into a a web application where it's not so clear cut this is absolutely the only possible way that that data could be entered and this is how I interpret it and so we need something like regular expressions that allow us to describe m patterns that we're going to look for in those strings so we can say yep there it is there's an email address there's that telephone number there's a zip code and so forth to, to be able to do something useful with that data. So for the rest of our topic in regular expressions, we're going to get into very detailed syntax 
for how we describe our pattern so that it will match specific strings. Instead of just saying, uh, does this text look like this? Or does it look like this? Or does it look like this? You, you cannot do a, an exhaustive list of all the possible telephone numbers and do a test against all those pattern, uh, telephone numbers. You have to revert to something that looks like a pattern and says, does it match this general description? And hope that your description has, dis has done a good job of describing how people um, use that string to, to enter their, their information properly. And so that's what we're going to explore for the next uh, several videos.